So today I'm talking about a HANA with the P1134 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a HANA P1134 code? Well, it's an HO2S transition time ratio 1-1. And some scan tools will also give you heated oxygen sensor, HO2S, RH front, slow operation. And so what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into the engine. And then they also have heater elements built in that help it do a few things. They help it go into what's called a closed loop quicker. And they also monitor the catalytic converter. Since the catalytic converter starts to heat up too much, it's a sign that it's starting to fail. So they're watching for this. And the onboard computer seen a problem with these sensors. So it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some possible causes of a Honda P1134 code. Well, it could be a bad oxygen sensor. It could be in the wiring, like an open or a short. It could be a blown fuse. And possibly an exhaust leak. And so be sure to be on the lookout for an exhaust leak. Sensor that the exhaust is leaking, it can throw these sensors off. And so the first thing to go do is to locate the oxygen sensors on your particular Honda. Since there can be some differences in how they're laid out and how many there is, sometimes there'll be two, sometimes there's four. For example, here's a 2012 Honda Odyssey and it shows where all the sensors are located and how they're laid out. And so it's always a good idea to go get a diagram where they all are, it just makes things easier. But the first thing to go do is to locate the oxygen sensors on your particular Honda. And then once you locate the sensors, the next thing to do is to check out this wiring real good. Be sure everything's connected and there's no opens or shorts or anything like this. Basically, keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to keep a lookout for that. Also, keep in mind that these are going to be on a fuse. And as you can see, downstream O2 sensor, upstream O2 sensor, it's on sensor one. And if this was to blow, it could cause issues. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, keep in mind that sometimes these are on a relay. And so if you've gone through and you check that all out, the wiring looks good. There's no blown fuses, nothing like that. Then the next thing to do is to go through and test these O2 sensors or replace them. They can be tested. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing them if you want to. But that would be the next thing to do is to go through to each one of these sensors and either test or replace them. If you do go to replace one of these sensors, one thing to keep in mind is that sometimes they require a special tool to get out and get back in. Not all the time. Sometimes you can get onto them with an open-end wrench or something when they're out in the open. But sometimes they're recessed down into the exhaust. And so you need this special tool to get them out and get them back in and get around that wire. So basically go and look at it and see what it looks like because you might need that special tool to get them out and get them back in. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P1134 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.